His longtime friend, Billy Graham, once said of him, John Stott is the most respected clergyman in the world. But how did a man who lived his whole life within eight blocks of all souls, the famous central London church he served for over 60 years, become the acknowledged worldwide leader of evangelicals for decades? John Stott's remarkable story started some 90 years ago in central London. He was born in Harley Street on April the 27th, 1921, the son of Sir Arnold and Lady Lily Stott. John showed early academic ability, going off to rugby school at the age of eight. It was at rugby school that a scripture union school's worker, Eric Nash, spoke to the students about Jesus. And that night, 17-year-old John Stott knelt by his bed and quietly gave his life to Christ. John attended his local church, All Souls, Langham Place, in London's West End, most of his life. Following graduation from Trinity College, Cambridge University, John Stott was ordained in the Church of England in 1945. He became assistant curate at All Souls, and then at the age of 29, in 1950, he was appointed rector. In 1975, he was given the title Rector Emeritus, a position he continued to hold until his death and John preached at All Souls several times each quarter, well into his eighties. John Stott served as the principal framer of the Lausanne Covenant, a major unifying document for evangelicals written during the Lausanne Congress of 1974. And he was the author of some fifty books, including Basic Christianity, The Cross of Christ, and The Contemporary Christian. As Rector Emeritus of All Souls Church, John Stott travelled extensively and often he would ask church leaders in majority world countries what their greatest need was. And they said, help our pastors to teach and preach the Bible effectively. Responding to that request, John Stott founded the Langham Partnership International, known in the United States as John Stott Ministries. John Stott's vision was for Langham Partnership to come alongside majority world church leaders to help their fast-growing churches grow also in depth and maturity by providing books for seminary libraries, students and pastors, by developing national training movements for biblical preaching, and providing scholarships for seminary teachers to study for their doctorate degrees and then return to teach pastors of the future. Recently granted the title of CBE, Commander of the British Empire, by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and selected by Time magazine as one of the hundred most influential people in the world, John Stott was known simply as Uncle John by Christians worldwide. He loved serving the global church and encouraging Western Christians into a partnership of learning and sharing together with sisters and brothers in Christ all over the world. Today, we celebrate the life and the remarkable Christian service of the Reverend Dr. John R. W. Stott, or, as he is known around the world, Uncle John. <laughs>